Right, it's 11.30 at night. And I was just about to go out to my bed. I thought, you know, I need to make this video. Been meaning to make this video over the last couple of days because I've seen a few comments. People have asked me a few things on TikTok and someone's DM me recently and I thought, you know what, nah, enough is enough. Now, this is something that I experience all the time. Guys need to find something and stick to it. Find the career path and stick to it. You know, there's some boy that lives at the back of my house. So I live on terrace houses, yeah? There's some boy that lives at the terrace behind my house. And I remember he had like a, a mentor or something. He was working for a roofing company. The mentor used to come around in the morning and I remember I heard him once or twice, like, playing loud music. I'm thinking to go out there and tell him, blood, it's 6.30 or 7 o'clock in the morning. When you pull up on the estate behind the back of my house, turn the volume down, please. Anyway, I used to notice this. But that only happened a couple of times. I used to notice this white boy that lived behind me used to get in the van and drive off. So he was working for a roofing company. So I thought, oh, okay, this little young youth's going to be a roofer. I stopped seeing the van come and I thought, oh, maybe the boy just graduated, became a qualified roofer and that. Next thing you know, about four months down the line, I see him driving a BT van. I'm like, what? How the fuck do you go from being a roofer to driving a BT van, working for BT? And I just looked at my man and I just thought to myself, he's going down the same path as them people that I make them videos about. One minute they're in college doing the electrical course. Then they drop out and say, you know, I'm going to do sports science. Then they say, fuck sports science. Oh, I'm going to try carpentry and that. The electrical thing was a bit too difficult and that. Sports science, ah, I got bored of it and I don't want to be a PE teacher and that. So, you know, I'm going to do carpentry and that. I like cutting wood. It's easy, isn't it? You just measure a mark twice and cut once and that. I thought to myself, this you is going down the exact same route as these people I make these videos about. I said to myself, when I saw him driving off in this BT van, I said to myself, give it four to six months. I'm not going to see that BT van out there anymore. Two months down the line and that BT van is not there. The you is a joke, man. Just like most men right now. Most men don't know what the hell they're doing with themselves. They're just doing stuff for the sake of it. Now, a guy must have hit me up on was it TikTok? I, I can't remember if it was a DM or it was a comment because man read a lot of comments and I get a lot of messages from people on Instagram nowadays of that, hey, keep it coming. I'm here to troubleshoot and because I believe man's got solutions to problems and that. So I can't remember if he was messaging me. I know it was on TikTok, but I'm not too sure if it was in the comment section or a DM and that. But the guy was talking about, he's in finance right now, earning about 34 grand a year but he's thinking of switching to be an electrician. Why? Why would you want to switch from finance to be an electrician, blood? Just continue doing your finance thing. You see, people that want to switch career paths and that, they're not trying to move forwards. There's some people think, oh yeah, by switching career paths and that, from being a fireman to being a gas engineer, I'm moving forwards. Not really, blood. You're moving sideways. Yeah? You should be trying to, if you're in finance, Forget about being an electrician. Try to become a manager. Try to start up your, account, your accountancy firm or whatever it is. Try to go self-employed. Try to start your own business. That's moving forward. That's moving upwards and that. Going from finance to electrician, that's not moving forwards. You're moving sideways, blood. You're going to spend three years becoming a qualified electrician to be on the same wage. That doesn't make no sense. I know certain people think to themselves, oh, I hate finance. So I don't want to work this job no more. So let me be an electrician. Let me tell you something right now, yeah? It don't matter what job, where you go, you're always going to find some stuff wrong with that job. You could be a finance man or electrician man or whatever, in it, And have the best job ever. You love, you love your work colleagues. You love your place of work. You love the people that you work around. Like you might go in tenants' houses or whatever. But then you have some arsehole cunt of a manager that's always chewing your ass or he's disrespectful and, and you're not like me. You're not confrontational. You ain't going to stick it on him and tell him to go fuck himself. I've had it before. Man being fired from jobs. Manager tried to talk mad to me. Tell him, shut your fucking mouth. I don't business. 
I'm not compromising my self respect for 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 a pay packet. No way. That's that that is not happening, blood. That is not happening. It don't matter what job, what career path I'm going, there's going to be things you're going to love about it and there's going to be things you hate about it. So if a man's in finance or a man's in accounting or if a man's in an electrician and that, and he's not happy where he, where he is, maybe that's a cue, maybe that's um, a sign for you to start moving forward, start to look for promotions and that, start to look to go self-employed, start to look to start your own business. Don't bother try and find another career path. The whole point of getting a job, and I say this in my videos all the time. The whole point of getting a career, getting a job and that is to earn enough money so that you can live a decent lifestyle, so that you can save enough money and invest in, obviously for me, it's property. Invest in property or invest in starting a business or invest in, I don't know, stocks and shares, whatever. I don't know. I don't do the stocks and shares thing, but apparently stocks and shares and, and um, currency bonds or whatever it is, is, is a good thing to invest in. The whole point of working a job and working a high paying job so that you can live a decent lifestyle, so that you can save up enough money so that you can make investments. Forget about, see, a man that's looking to go from being a finance man to an electrician, he's got the employee's mindset. I would never try to find another career path. No, I'm going to do this electrical thing right now, but I'm moving forward, I'm moving upwards. I'm looking to retire by the age of 40. If I was looking to, oh, be a gas engineer or be a plasterer or be an accountant, I'm not looking to retire by the age of 40. I'm looking to retire at the same age as everyone else. 65, by the time I get up to them ages there, it probably will be 70 years old. You need to just pick one career path and stick to it. I went to a boy's house the day before yesterday. I went to a job, tested the electrics and that, and the the tenant's ex boyfriend must have wired a circuit incorrectly and that. But I didn't have a fuse, so my manager asked me to go back a couple of weeks later and change the fuse. Anyway, when I went to the job initially, the older brother, because um, there was a young girl that was there, she said that she got older brother. He was at work. He weren't there. I went back a couple of days ago and I met him. This guy's telling me, yeah, he, he he works at an electrical wholesalers that they opened up recently in Northampton. So I said, all right, then, cool. He's like, yeah, anytime you need anything, come down to the shop and that, whatever. And I said, yeah, cool. So he's young. I don't know how old he is. Probably like 21, 22. A lot of young people that work in electrical wholesalers and that, they're actually like studying to be electrician at the same time. So I said to him, ah, oh, so you work at the electrical wholesalers. Are you studying to be electrician or something? He's like, no, 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 no. I'm just working there for the moment. He's like, I'm at, I'm at college doing like finance, for example, or accounting, for, for example. Then he said, yeah, once I complete that, then I'm going to just try something else. And I figured to myself, now, obviously, I'm at work and I ain't having these off the record conversations with man that I just meet after a minute. And, that. and you know, maybe I could. I just couldn't be bothered anyway. I was only there for three minutes, three, five minutes doing this job. And, that. and I think to myself... You are not going, at this rate, you are not going to progress and do nothing. How the hell, yeah, are you in college doing this course, doing that course, doing this? This is why, yeah, people are gravitating towards me so much on TikTok and YouTube and that. Because what man's saying is fucking facts, blood. All the people them that you know, the older man them that you know, who are 40, 50 years old driving a lorry, these guys didn't know what the hell they wanted to do with themselves when they were younger. I know a man right now who is driving a lorry, who said to me, I was, I, I was doing the electrical course, you know, but I dropped out. I know other men spend their whole life just selling weed and that told me before in the past, I was actually doing the electrical course and I dropped out. You man need to stop dropping out of courses and start fucking finishing stuff. I was in a conversation with a you earlier today, 10 minutes ago. This you is studying IT at university but then he's asking me about, what do I think about starting um, the electrical course? I said to him, blood, you just started your university degree. Finish that. Finish that. How are you starting an um, a IT degree at university, but then you're thinking about starting an electrical course? Nah, man, you don't need to stop this, man. Stop, pick one thing and fucking finish it. Ridiculous, man. Man want to be here, there, everywhere. I get it. A lot of people don't know what they want to do with themselves. 
find something. Find something that you're going to be good at doing and stick to it. It don't matter what job it is. It don't matter how good the salary is and that you're always going to find things you don't like about this job. Oh, it's the best job, best work colleagues, nice workplace and that asshole manager. Oh, the place is, um, you've got a nice manager at this next place, but the place, the company don't run properly and that. It's, it's filthy. You don't like your work colleagues, but the manager's cool. You're always going to find things you like and don't like about a job. You can't, you can't think that you can just go through life, just switch and switch and switch and switch and switch. You're going to waste so much time. The reason why I'm so far ahead and I haven't wasted much time is because I've just stuck to one thing. I ain't going to name any family members' names, but trust me, people that man, yeah, close family members are that, exactly like that. Switching from this to that, this to that, this to that. A man was doing drama. A man was doing athletics. A man was doing boxing. Didn't complete or get no achievement in anything. Me, I went to Taekwondo. I stuck with Taekwondo. I got my black belt. I got a few golds, plenty of silvers and bronzes and that. But I got, I got myself a few goals and that. I stuck to it. Don't get it twisted. I wanted to quit Taekwondo. Don't get it twisted. I did drop out of electrical studies. But I went, I didn't even quit Taekwondo. I wanted to, but my mum didn't let me. So good thing I had a good mum that made me continue Taekwondo. But I did drop out of electrical, but I went back to it. I went back to it. But you man need to just stop trying to switch and do all this. Just stick to one thing. Think about the money. Think about the money. I think the problem is people are trying to enjoy it. I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy what you're doing, but you're trying to enjoy it too much. When you think about enjoying the job too much, it's probably because you see yourself as being an employee for your whole, your, your entire life. That's why you're really trying to enjoy the job, really trying to get stuck in and that. Yeah, you can't. I'm, I'm glad that people are thinking about being an electrician and that, but at the same time, I don't want people just watching my videos and that. And they're in a field already and thinking, right, this guy's doing well for himself. He's making a bit of money. I want to be an electrician. No, you can make the exact same money that I'm making in your field. 110%. You just need to go self-employed. Guys will watch my videos where I'm talking about I'm earning five, six, seven grand a month. And be like, ah, oh, nah, he ain't making five, six, seven grand a month. You lot have no idea. You lot have no idea how much money people are actually earning out here. My girl is a mortgage broker. I've seen people's pay slips, blood. I've seen man earning 26 grand a month. Even me, the most I've earned is 10 grand in a month. When I was working at the infamous Holborn job, I was working there from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday and Sunday. Saturday was half time, time and a half, sorry, and Sunday was double pay. Two and a half grand a week, times that by four, that's 10 grand a month. I was paying 20% 20, 20 CIS tax, so out of the 10 grand, I was taking on 8,000, but I was still turning over 10 grand. You have no idea. There's people out here making some serious money. Some serious money. But anyway, man. Find something, stick to it. Think about the money. Think about the money. You just want to work your job, save your peas, and make investments so that you can retire. You can retire if you know how to do the property game. And I will be educating people. Don't get it twisted. I will be educating people because I'm learning and I'm going to be passing down knowledge to people as well. You can retire in about 15, 20 years once you get into the property game. Easily. Easily. You can retire easily within 20 years. Some people are, oh, 20 years is long. Blood. If you're 30 years old right now, you're going to be working for another 35 years anyway. So if you're 30 years old right now and you get into property, if you, retire, if you retire in 20 years, well, then you retire at 50 years old. That's 15 years off of the national retirement age, which is 60, 65, 67 years old. You give it 10 years, it'll be more because people are living longer. But anyway, man, that's it, man. Guys need to start sticking to one thing and don't just get gassed off some guy that you've seen on TikTok. Oh, I'll be an electrician. Come on, man. 
Stick to your field. Go self-employed. Get out of your comfort zone. Go self-employed. You're earning 35 grand a year as a finance man. Go self-employed. You can earn 55, 60. It, the sky's the limit. One of the men there from my block. You know, people always diss these uni degrees, these, um, uh, what do you call it? People always diss business degrees and that. One guy from my block told me he's on 500 pound a day. 500 pound a day, business degree. So, what they say, one of my favorite quotes as well. Education without ambition is like a car with no wheels. You're not gonna go anywhere. There are people in this world that have a business degree that are on fucking 20 grand a year. And there are people in this world that have the exact same business degree, probably have a, a second class or a third class, whatever, not even a first class. And they're on a hundred grand a year. It's all about what you want to do. It's all about how, how much ambition you got. You know, this video is supposed to be 10 minutes, eight minutes long. So I can fit onto my TikTok account. It's all blood clout, 16 minutes long. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for today. Stay where it's done, though.